Okay, let's look at this question, question seven. And I think again, I think it's good practice. What I will do again is focus on um, one of them. And then that means you can do the next one, but let's look at it. So Lapel has produced three forecasts. Um, so this is like a flexible budget because you're doing it for a number of units, uh, a, lump, a number of different activities. So this is referred to as a flexible, a flexible budget. So what do we have? So you have some total amounts for making these bins, and these are all variable. So technically, we can find what the variable cost is of making each bin, and then apply that right across, right? So let's do it for the sixty thousand. So I know that the total materials needed, the total cost of materials needed for bins for fifty thousand, is five thousand two hundred and fifty. Therefore, for one bin, it must be five two fifty divided by. 50,000, right? So I'm just going to do that very quickly. 5250 divided by 50,000, and that takes us to 0 0.105. So I'm just going to write that here 0 0.105. I'll do the same thing for labor. For labor, is this 2250 divided by the 50,000. So 2250 divided by the 50,000. Let's do that. 2250 divided by the 50,000. Then that's 0 0.045. And then you have the overheads, which is 11,100 divided by the 50,000. 11,100 divided by the 50,000. And that is um, the 0 0.222. If you like. And so um, the now that I know what the cost is per unit per bin, I can find out what it is for sixty thousand bin. So let's do the first one, and so that's just of course here zero point one zero five times sixty thousand. Let's just do that zero point zero zero point one zero five times sixty thousand, which is six thousand three hundred. I'll just clean this and just write that in there. That's actually. 6,300. I'll do the same thing here, 0 0.045, 0 0.045 times 60,000, just 2,700. And then you have here 0 .0 0 0.0.222 times 60,000, that's 13,320. Now, this these won't change. These are fixed costs, so w these will remain the same, whatever you do. So now I can find the total by adding all of this together. And please, you can apply these numbers. I mean, why don't let's just do it right now, yes? Let's just do it while we're here. 0 0.105 times 70,000. And this is 7350. 0 0.045 times, uh, so 0 0.045 times 70,000, and that's 3,150, and finally 0 0.222 times 70,000, and that's 15,540. So drag all that together, add the total cost, and let's do that very quickly, and that's 6, 3, so I'm going to, I'm just adding all of this I'm doing this one now. I'm adding. I'm going to add all this, and then I'll add, of course, add all this. So six thousand three hundred plus two thousand seven hundred plus thirteen thousand three hundred and twenty plus nine thousand two hundred plus fifteen thousand six hundred, and this is forty-seven thousand one hundred and twenty. Do the same thing here. Seven three fifty plus three one fifty plus fifteen five forty plus 9,200, plus 15,600. So I just added all of this right here. That's 50,840. And then the question is asking, what's the cost per bin? So I'm now going to divide these numbers by the total number of bins. So 47,120 divided by 60,000. Yes, 47,120 divided by 60,000. 47,120 divided by 60,000 gives us 0. 785, doing the same thing here, 50,840 divided by 70,000 gives us 
0 0.726. And that's your situation there. Right, and that's that. Then the second part of this question, I want you to do a bit, still similar, a bit more work, but just the same idea. It gives you some information. Um, you've got units, machine hours, sales revenue, direct materials. So let's do it. So um, the question is asking, well, for A, what's the selling price per unit? Well, that's if all of that's your sales revenue and these are your units made, well, it must be the 450,000 divided by the 300,000 units, right? Made and sold. And that brings us to 450 divided by 300 brings us to a nice figure of one pound 50. Materials, the total cost of your materials is 60,000. So you have 60,000 divided by the 300,000, right? Because it's asking you what is the direct cost of making each unit. So you have the um, 60,000 divided by the 300,000. If you do that, that should bring you to 60,000 divided, that's 20p. If you do the same thing for labor, you have 36,000 divided by the 300,000. So 36,000 divided by the 300,000. And you do that, you should get 12p. And finally, you take the 45,000 divided by the 300,000, and then you get the 15p. So I'm going to take all of these variable costs away from the £1.50 to get my contribution, right? Because contribution is sales minus variable costs, isn't it? So you have sales minus variable costs, and that takes you to £1.03. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's kind of, oops, sorry. And that's your first, and that's the first situation. Then it says, because volume, you are selling 300,000 units. So you have 300,000 units, and therefore your total contribution, of course, must be one pound and three times 300,000. And that's 309, total contribution of 309,000. I'll just use a different pen color for the next one. Um, and a very quick, I'm literally applying the same principle here. So I'm just going to do this on this side here, where we're talking about a total sales revenue of 600,000 over 500,000 units. Yes, so 600,000 divided by 600,000 divided by 500,000 units. So that's one pound 20. And then direct materials, of course, is the 125 divided by the 500,000, that's 25p. And then you have the um, 70,000 divided by the 500,000, that's 14p. And then you have the 95,000 divided by the 500,000, and that's 19p. So again, I can now find my contribution by literally, of course, yes, adding or taking away all my variable costs from the one pound 20. That's 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 sixty two p. Sorry, let me just do that properly. Let me just make sure I'm I'm right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is zero one point two minus zero point two five minus zero point one four minus zero point one nine. That's sixty two p here. You're selling five hundred units, five hundred thousand units. That takes you to 310,000. So you have a total contribution, of course, of add the two together, 619,000. Your fixed costs in total 
are given to you at 264,020 and therefore your budgeted profit comes out of 354,980. Okay, great stuff. And that was a bit of a long one, but um, it's not a bad, not a bad question. Okay, great stuff.